Hey, Dan Passarelli here. As you know, one of the things that I love to trade and I trade every day is the MTM Smart Income System, which is covered calls, cash cured puts, and a very, very specific way of doing those things. And I particularly do them with stocks in my IRA. I've got in my IRA right now, uh, British Petroleum. I've got just a small position in there that I bought a while back. And that stock right now is sort of in a pretty classic uptrend. We're setting higher lows and higher highs, and there's not really that high of volatility, which on the one hand is really great for covered calls because if I think the stock is not going to rocket ship higher through my strike price and I want to keep the stock for the long run, I can use my skate objective and try and bring in a little bit of extra premium on selling that call. But on the other hand, it can be really bad because I might not be able to bring in a high enough premium. And if you look here, maybe at uh, 14 strikes, if I'm looking at say the 11 day expiration here, I think that over the next 11 days, this stock can rise a little bit more, is up more than it was by the time it closed today. And so I would want to choose a strike that's maybe a couple bucks away from the money and I can only get eight cents on the 11 day option. If I go out to the 18 day option, I can get 15 cents. 25 day option, I can get uh, 19 cents. Even the 32 day option, if I want to sell the 30 strike, which is only $2 away from the money, that's four more days like today and that's, that strike is in the money, I can only get 30 cents. Now, like I said, I have a pretty small position worrying about collecting $30 in my IRA, my retirement account, which, you know, for a lot of people has a lot more than $30 in it, right? just seems to take my eye off the ball and commissions make up kind of a higher percentage of that trade. Now, not a super high percentage of that trade, but once you get below like 50 cents or something like that, commissions do start adding up somewhat. And so I chose to pass on British Petroleum. Now, I also look today at Apple, which I also own in my IRA. And if I go to charts there, I see, wow, this has been in a pretty nice solid channel for a while here. Let's zoom in just a little bit on that. Been in a nice, pretty nice solid channel on here. What strike would I want to sell? Well, I like to sell where there's some resistance, right? And today, Apple did indeed break out above the 50-day moving average. And so if I was going to sell a strike, I'd probably be looking at maybe selling the, at least the 135 strike because that is at the top of a broader range. But the thing with that is a very similar story. If I'm looking at the 125 strike, or 135 strike calls on this $130 stock, I can collect 43 cents over 11 days. Even the 18 day, I can collect 77 cents. You know, we're not really getting where I want to be here. On the 25 day option, I can collect a dollar five, but now we're talking about 25 days, the better part of a month over three weeks. And there is a reasonable likelihood that we could bust above that range over a three week period. And so I decided to sit and wait and see if it rises a little bit higher and maybe look at selling a yet higher strike, maybe the 140s or something. So I wanted to share those two things that I didn't trade today because I feel that trading those would have been a mistake. And I wanna share with you not just the things to do, but also sometimes the things not to do. Sometimes the trade you don't make can be your best trade. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.